And usually, like you said, if a researcher saw something like what Stephanie was seeing, they would have thrown it away, thinking it was contaminated or something had gone wrong. But Stephanie had this intuition about it. She's like playing with it. And she's like, I think this will work. And so she took it to the guy who's in charge of running the spinneret and was like, hey, can we put this in the machine and try spinning it into fibers? And he was like, no, absolutely not. He's like, it's going to clog up the holes in the machine. It's going to cause a big mess. I'm not doing it. But Stephanie remembers stubborn. She was very persistent. And she kept asking him and asking him and asking him for days until finally he was just like, okay, fine. Jeez, you know, let's just do it. So they put it in the spinneret. And to both of their surprise, this weird polymer solution had absolutely no problem creating fibers didn't clog up the machine or anything. It was beautiful. And these fibers were also very different from anything that had been created before. They were extremely hard and stiff. Stephanie said, quote, the first sign that we really had that something unusual occurred as I stood by the spinning equipment and tried to break some of the newly spun fibers. Unlike ordinary nylon, this fiber was very difficult to break by hand. At that moment, I knew we had a most unusual fiber, 